about you, Skyrim. And here we all are. Shall we step inside? All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe. I was always taught to avoid to these cautious. types of wounds. I think I see why now. So sure we should be here. You know, there might be gold somewhere in here. The largest. Sacked by the elves in the infamous Night of Tears, not much is known about what happened to Sarthol. This is an exciting opportunity for us. Well, are there any questions before we begin? We're particularly interested in the prevalence of magical seals placed on the tombs here. It's rather unlike anything we've encountered. Ah, yes. Hmm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifact. Now, let's see. What shall we have the rest of you do? Um, please search that area over there. See if you notice any residual energy. Alive or undead? Cesargo, what shall we have you do? Ah, why don't you verify that we're the first ones here? Look for any amount of tampering with the tombs. All right, everyone. Let's be careful, but have fun. To think, my ancestors destroyed the homes of Anwen's ancestors. So much bloodshed. Please be careful here. The site isn't entirely secured. Please be careful here. The site isn't entirely secure. Do you think this treasure here? Something to make That's all you think about is treasure. Well, certainly none of this will benefit my research. He what? You must be one of the new apprentices then. Fine, fine. Just. Just don't make a mess of my work, all right? I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh... You can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. All right, then. What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? 
How in the world did that happen? Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it? Be careful here. The site isn't entirely secure. Until next time. Well, this is highly unusual and very interesting. this place. I'm not sure what to expect here. Please be on your guard. Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. You, Mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. I... I swear I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? All right, then. to defend yourself. This bears 
I've never seen anything like this in Nordic ruins before. Why just look at all these?
What could this place be? This is simply fascinating. They were a group of mages with a history that predates the Empire. Very powerful, very secretive. No one's seen them in well over a hundred years. They vanished, along with their sanctuary on the Isle of Arteum. I have no idea what connection they'd have to this place. All right then. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Sabo Sauron of this discovery? Please, hurry.
I think the college is due for a change in leadership. No. <laughs> It's no secret that the co Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I... see. I tr Thank you for bring- Tolfdia normally, since he's apparently- Speak with Urag and- And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. Alright then. There you are. I've been trying to find you. I just wanted to let you know that Ancano's been asking about you. I think he's looking for you. What? I'm not sure. Just... Well, mind what you tell him, all right? No, no. Well, I don't think so. Between the two of us, there are rumors about him. That this advisor position he has is a sham, an excuse. That what he's really doing is spying for the Thalmor, trying to feed them information. But it never hurts to be a little suspicious, does it? You're welcome. Until next time. Eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink. 
And you refuse to help the storm coats. Horses. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses We are? haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help I had expected East Grimoire City to be your spies. Long before I found myself under Ulfric's ban. They say the college has been snooping around Sarthor. Mages in a burial crypt? No good. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. Who's going to stop? Give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. It's Grandpa. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. <laughs> and what would you have me do? It's, it's literally Grandpa from If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helden. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Rayloff's alive? I hope that's true. He's a damn good man. But he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helga. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bold Ruff a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet, Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? Hmm. Helga, there. Dolfra told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. But first, tell me, why is a lizard want to fight for Skyrim? Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? <coughs> All right. But before I can put you to use, oh, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. <laughs> we'll see about that, won't we? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did that King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other yards.
god.
Tell me again why we're wasting time and dwindling resources chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. The Jarls are upset. They don't all support you. Damn the Jarls. They demand the moot. And damn the moot! We should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torix women on the throne? She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves on a silver plate. You're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? You can stick a sword through an Imperial any day you want, but that doesn't make you a Stormcloak. Mm. We're not just fighting Imperials. We're fighting to restore Skyrim to her glory and give her the king she deserves. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us. A hero of the people. A true son of Skyrim. A Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. All the more reason, then. would legitimize your claim. A crown doesn't make No, but this one. Alduin? 
We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The Dragon will lead you to Aldwin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Win. Guide. open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. <laughs> Out with it. What? The winking Stevens got warm beds and cold meat. Make it quick. I get enough delays. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful Emperor. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. You may have a point. I'm always surprised by how seriously the Nords take these things. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. I'm For telling you, good it will Ulfric's do. planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Wait, what? I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. This is Imperial soldier saying that.
Why you scared me like you? Then I took an L to the knee. <laughs> I have that two times in my videos right now. They demand the moot. And damn the moot! We should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's women on the throne? She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves on a silver plate. All the more reason. Why are you still here? You're supposed to be a Corvignon. A crown doesn't make a king. No, Why are you still here? This one. You're supposed if it even exists. Can I... It exists. And it oh, will I be the symbol of the righteousness of our cause. Think about it. The jagged crop. It heralds back to a time before Jarls and Moots. Back to the time when the king was a king because his enemies fell before him and his people rose because they loved him. Skyrim needs that king. You will be that king, Wolfric. You must be. You're certain you found it. When have I ever been false with you? Fine. I'll send the unblooded here with you. Fancy a crawl through a moldering dungeon to see if you can't stir up Garmar's jagged crown. It will be there, you'll see. Why are you still here? You're supposed to be a Corvignon. What can Could I talk Garmar to him? Right? Can I stop okay, Please don't tell me. We can wrong. Or does he have to sit on his throne? Surely, I want you to send a messenger to our western camps. Come on! End the message, sir. I'm diverting. Garn Hadring's men to join him. Is that wise, sir? It will work if we can pull Haran's men from the south. Can he just leave it literally softly? And find a bit of luck. Of course. Something that seems to be in short supply these days. I'm not seeking advice right now, friend. Just send a message. The Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. Why are you still here? Why can't I talk to you? You're supposed to be a Corvignon. Proving Gom right or proving him wrong. Oh my god. Hold on.
there. Hail, Ilfield. Ha! <laughs> I knew you'd join up. Great news. We'll take back Skyrim together, eh? I'm glad I'll have you beside me in there. This place chills my blood. And I don't care who knows it. These old ruins. My father always told me to stay away from them. Good advice, I'd say. But never mind all that. We've got a job to do. And nothing's going to stand in our way. I was always taught to avoid these types of ruins. What's the situation? I, I see why now. Cold as the inside of an ice race. That and some Imperials are camped out around the entrance, staying nice and warm around their fires. Imperials? Well, if they're keeping themselves comfortable, let's slip in and send them to their graves that way. <laughs> What's the Legion doing here? Damn Imperial spies! Well, should be fun for wait, us wait, at wait, least. Wait, wait, They don't seem here? to know we're here yet. Ready to spill some Imperial blood for Skyrim? Why, why, why? I didn't know that... That's what I like to hear. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Okay, you can share that now. Is there here? Imperial here? Oh my, yeah, there is. And one of them spotted me. That's the way I like it. Short and bloody. They never knew what hit them. But do not make the mistake of underestimating the Legion. Plenty of them are Nords, same as us. I'm no fan of the sun. The it would be of better than this. this time. Sure but things please? won't be so easy from here on out. Enough talk. Let's go kill some Imperial. Uh, yeah, I never liked the Imperial anyway.
We attack on my signal. Time to show what you're really made of. With the other way, and then with the bound to be more up ahead. Who's there? A statue. I wonder what it's used for. Oh, it's used for this. I wouldn't do that again, unless you know for 
sure it's going to open. Um, hold on. I always forget. Look at the claw, because it only gives you a clue. we're looking for.
The Imperials have really dug into White Run. It's about time they turned their gaze from. I have the great. But. I can't afford to appear weak. Good. I doubt the Empire has this. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Come to your council, but I doubt any good will come of it. I'll come to your council. Oh, I can't I give him the crown yet. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They are not yet tired of war, but regrets are pointless. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of sky. Well, I went the wrong way. Where are you going? Take your seat, and we can begin. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats, so we can begin. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit of... You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. <laughs> here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial Delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Ismir's beard. The nerve of those imperial bastards, eh? To think that we would sit down with that. Just sit down, bitch. damn it. 
I say she walks or we walk. Come on. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. We need to show Tullius we won't be pushed around. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me, but I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Oh, Frick, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? No, exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may okay. we proceed? Person. One moment. Here we go. I just want to make clear that the only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. Now do you... I have no authority to negotiate a permanent settlement, unless Ulfric is ready to sue for peace and turn himself over to Imperial Justice. Master Arngir, We're are here to arrange a temporary to... truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the Dragons, nothing more. We consider even sitting down to talk with these rebels more than generous. Enough posturing, Tullius. If you came to talk, let's get on with it. Fine. Let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? General Tullius. Jarl Ulfric. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Yes, it Do your does. best. Yes. To begin the process of yes. a lasting peace in Skyrim. Yes. Who would like to open the <coughs> negotiations? Our terms are simple. Riften must be returned to Imperial control. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. By Talos, the stones on this one. You're in no position to dictate terms to us, Talius. That's quite an opening demand, Talius. Ulfric. You can't be taking this demand seriously. We can hold Riften against anything the Empire can throw at it. I'm serious because he Yoro has... Leila will he never agree to... Right the side is in the best interests of Skyrim. Are we clear? Yes, my lord. Come on, Tullius. You can't seriously expect us to just hand over Riften at the negotiating table. You haven't been able to take it back yet. Why should we give it up now? I am sure General Tullius does not expect something for nothing. Of course not. What will you offer for Rift and Tullius? Some empty promises? Maybe some more Imperial bluster? Enough, Galmar. Jarl Wolfric, what would you want in return? First, let me be clear. The Sons of Skyrim know from bitter experience that talking to the Empire is a waste of time. Or worse, Imperial promises are simply a way to lull you while they prepare a dagger for your back. Aye, we haven't forgotten Markarth Tullius. But I accept the Dragonborn's invitation to this council, and I at least will negotiate in good faith. The council was your idea, huh? So tell us, what do you think Riften is worth? Yes. With Mark Garth in our hands, we'll be able to raid the Imperial supply lines out of salt. You heard the man, Ulfric. We get Riften back. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your fine words. Think hard about your loyalties, brother. I expected better from you. I know how this works, Tullius. I've learned the value of Imperial promises the hard way. Never again. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. empire. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. 
And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does it Shut have to up. do with the... Yes. If he's right about Alden, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Oh, it needs now, to back, down. back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Riften on these terms. I'm sure you have something in mind. No. Damn right we do. <laughs> you surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgir steps down, and Dengir of Stun resumes the Yalship. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I, I mean, they capture me first, so it is kind of fair. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Riften will be handed over to Imperial Control. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackfire will be the Jarl of Riften. Don't, don't you the dare. The Empire will withdraw its troops Why from there? the Reach, allowing Ulfric's forces unhindered access to Markarth. Jarl Igmun will go into exile, with Thongor Silverblood taking his place as Jarl of Markarth. Falkreath will be turned over to Ulfric, and Dengir of Stoom will return as Jarl. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Melissa? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Now that the Empire has been <clears throat> driven from the Reach, we can put a stop to the raping of her silver mines. Hey, what? That silver belongs in Skyrim. Oh! Come on, Delmar. We have a lot of work to do. This is quite an achievement, Dragonborn, and General Tullius. Riften is ours. Jarl Balgruf. I'm afraid there's a problem. You are familiar a serious with Dragonborn's plan. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. I don't want to kill him. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? By calling the dragon with the voice, he's not compelled. Your voice in per I think it's very likely. Ah, indeed. I'm Odavin. 
Yes. Wing I'm ready to do my part. Adventure. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains. How to build the trap? We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. I'm not killing you. This was would have lasted way longer, but no. I guess that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. The Grabians have arranged a truce between the Stormcloaks and Imperials. How long can such a thing last? Not that long. Bye bye.